Kirsten from JK Fiber Arts. Today uh, we are going to do something totally different and new and exciting. Uh, I have uh, been uh, chatting online with a, a wonderful uh, a friend who I've been uh, in contact with now for a little while. Her name is Kim and uh, she's the owner of Fairly Fiber Fun and uh, she uh, reached out to me with what I thought was an awesome collaboration idea. Uh, she is getting ready to launch a uh, subscription fiber of the month club starting in October uh, and I am uh, a big chicken and uh, <laughs> have wanted to start selling some of my stuff as it piles up to my neck uh, but uh, have not taken those final steps uh, even though I have a fair amount of it in place. Uh, she's sort of uh, helping me uh, along with that bit uh, and um, she had uh, proposed that we do this uh, fiber swap. So I sent her a art bat that I had done and uh, she has sent me something and I'm going to open it. I have no idea what's in here, but I'm super excited. Uh, and um, then we're going to uh, spin up each other's yarn and do a little video on that. And that's what this is gonna be today. Uh, but first I wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about Kim. Uh, she uh, is home based in Georgia. Uh, she has been involved in all kinds of art, uh, including fiber art, since uh, she was a child, I think age four. Um, now I'm going to digress for a second. Typically, I like to just go off the cuff and I just ramble on and roll all over the place, but she did give me some information that she'd like to get out there and uh, I'm going to do my best. Uh, but I have it off here on my iPad so I can look at it if I need to. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but uh, she uh, is a mother of four uh, and uh, had a uh, unpleasant first marriage, uh, ended up getting divorced and uh, met her absolute soulmate who inspired her, encouraged her, and uh, she got her college degree and he supported her in her uh, fiber arts business and then sadly uh, uh, he passed uh, suddenly at a young age uh, and um, now she has once again risen up. About a year uh, after he passed uh, she's uh, honoring his uh, memory by uh, getting her business uh, going. Uh, she is uh, basically everywhere right now. She has a passion for all things fiber. Uh, she's currently trying to expand her YouTube channel to include uh, classes for purchase. You can find uh, her uh, gorgeous bats at her uh, online store. Uh, she's on uh, Instagram. She has a uh, Ko-Fi page where you can support her and receive exclusive videos and uh, blog posts and updates on, uh, up updates on uh, recent release products. She has recently become a brother drum carter dealer. Uh, she uh, has um, spinning tools and uh, other accessories available in her store. And uh, she's also a vendor at uh, WAFA, the uh, Woolen Fiber Arts that's online through Facebook. If you haven't seen that, you should definitely check it out. I know I check it out. Uh, I believe it's the fourth Friday, uh, the fourth weekend of every month. Kim is uh, constantly working uh, to uh, uh, incorporate innovative ideas in her fibers. Uh, I'm hoping one of them's in here. I'm, I'm very excited because I've seen some of her stuff and it's super cool. And uh, she also has uh, knitting patterns available. Uh, she is uh, very involved. Uh, she does uh, uh, shave them to save them. Uh, she even has shave them to save them fibers that are scoured available. I'm going to read this next bit to make sure that I don't get anything wrong because her newest adventure is the uh, Fiber of the Month Club, which uh, she's currently taking subscriptions for and will be through the end of August. Uh, the uh, club is five months of fiber goodness, that's me adding the fiber goodness, uh, <laughs> with uh, four ounces of uh, dyed and uh, carded fiber and uh, the theme uh, is solar system. And uh, each month uh, you're going to get little uh, fun little gifts scientific facts uh, on each of the planets. You'll also have uh, discount codes mailed to you for Ko-Fi supporters. I would like to tell you I know what Ko-Fi is, but I don't, but um, hopefully she'll be able to tell you that. Uh, <laughs> uh, but she is taking pre-orders right now. Uh, please show her a little love. Uh, I told her she should write an autobiography. Her life is phenomenal and she has a spirit that is just unstoppable. So uh, here we go, on to the good fiber. I will pin all of her uh, links in the uh, comments uh, once this is uh, posted. Uh, so here we go, drum roll, wait, let's zoom in. All right, Judy and Erlene want 
front row seats for this. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Let's see what we have here. Um, so this is uh, Corydel Merino Long Wool Locks, Recycled Silk Sari, Silk Noils, Bamboo, Sea Cell, and Firestar. Ooh. This is like one of my bats. It's got everything but the kitchen sink in it. That's what I should name one of my bats. So this is a Magic Potions bat. And I have seen these in her shop and they're super cool. So you get the Magic Potions bat. And the cool thing about the bat is it usually comes with a surprise mix in like feathers or beads or locks or some other wonderful, fun, exciting, textury item. Let's open this bat up and look at the fibery goodness. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful this is. Oh, just look at it. This is the Sunny Potions bat. I love it. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful it is. It has some sheen in it. It's got, of course, Tweety goodness. How can you go wrong with the Tweety bits? And I love this colorway. Oh, the, kind of brown into the gold, into the blue. And the unfinished side here, and it does feel really soft. Oh, let's see, we got some nice layers in here. This is wonderful. I love it. What shall we do with it? Now I have to decide what I wanna do. Oh my goodness, what shall we do? I'm debating, uh, I don't wanna chain ply because I've been doing a lot of chain ply lately, so I wanna do something different. I was thinking about doing thick and thin and uh, thread plying. Okay, I think I have a plan. I hope that I do this justice. Um, Kim, I hope I'm doing this justice, but here's my plan. I'm gonna weigh this uh, and then I'm gonna divide it. I think I'm gonna do two thirds, one third. I'm gonna do a two ply, but I'm gonna do the two thirds. I'm gonna spin it uh, thick and I'm gonna go from dark to light. And the one third I'm gonna spin thin and go from light to dark and then I'm gonna apply it in the opposite direction. Uh, I, sorry, I'm gonna apply it from the opposite end of color. I'm gonna apply it in the normal direction of twist. Uh, and um, I think it's gonna look really cool. So let me uh, weigh this up and we'll divide it and we'll get started. I'm going to do this one thick and this one thin, and I am going to uh, peel this into strips. And so this is gonna be my thick spin here. And what I'm gonna do is strip it I'm gonna spin it in the order that it's here because I really like this. I, I love this transition right here. It's just gorgeous. So uh, I'm going to strip this and then I'm, I'm gonna strip it into more manageable strips for me to spin thick. So let me get this all uh, stripped up. Uh, I'm gonna leave this one whole until I come to it and then we're gonna go the opposite uh, direction. I'm starting with the blue on this one uh, spinning and then when I spin the, the single thin, I'm gonna start with this side and, uh, and then I'm gonna apply them and uh, hopefully it's gonna be awesome. Look at that. So here is my prep. I stripped everything and I'm going to uh, put it in my big bowl and I'm going to start with uh, the blue and let's uh, get this on the wheel. All right, let's get this magic potions going. I am super excited about this. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, the uh, thick spin first and see how this goes. Uh, and I'm not sure. I'm just going to play with it a little bit here and see what I want for the thick part. But I think that this is going to be great. Oh, look at how pretty it is. And it's spinning like a dream here. It's really smooth. I'm going to see what we have here on a plyback test in just a sec. So I want this to be thicker. So I'm already not... Uh, let's see, I want to do... Let's do this. Let's increase my draw just a bit here. And then I'm gonna stay close to the orifice and I'm going to just pull out a little bit of fiber as I go here. Actually, this looks gorgeous here. Oh, look at this. I love this bit. Let's check. Oh yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Look at that. Oh, I love it. That's what I want it to look like. Can you see that? Oh, look how cool it looks. <laughs> I love that. I love the way that the uh, bright, uh, the, um, is it, I think that's the bamboo is uh, playing through there. It looks really good. One thing to mention when you're picking up your strips, if you didn't put them in the exact order 
uh, direction wise end to end, one end of a bat will st typically uh, spin easier than the other. So if you're doing this at home and you're like, what's happening? All of a sudden it's not, you know, uh, spinning as smoothly as it had been before. Um, the chances are you uh, just flip it around in the other end of the bat and it'll spin easier. Um, same thing holds true for roll eggs and uh, for um, punies, all of, all of that stuff. Uh, any sort of uh, hand carded fibers. Even with a commercial top, sometimes you can have that. I'm really excited to see how she's going to spin mine. Um, the other cool thing is uh, she is doing a sister bat. I made three of those uh, deep uh, blue bats. And um, one I sent to her, and I'm going to spin the other one. And, uh, and maybe I'll have one for sale. <laughs> um, but I'm going to spin the other one, and uh, it'll be cool to see uh, the difference in um, the way we approach it because that's the beautiful thing about art bats and really any yarn is that you can give that bat to 12 different people and you're gonna come back with 12 different beautiful yarns and you know some of them you'll be like, oh my gosh, I wish I would have thought of that. <laughs> and it's so cool. Oh, there's a cute lock. Let's see if I can pop that out. Yeah. We'll leave a little bit of lock out here. That'll look cool too. If I come across any of those, I'm gonna leave them, leave them out when I see them. Oh, here comes another lock. Ooh, I'm gonna keep this one out too. I love this. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna let that one wrap around just a touch there, but I'm gonna keep that one free and easy too. So when we come by to apply it, it's gonna be super cool. Sometimes with these locks, I have to hand wind on because they get caught on my hooks. Uh, and I did not put my jumbo flyer on, so this is just my regular flyer. Uh, but oh, look how pretty that looks. So this will give you, I got a little bit thick and thin here and that's okay, but look at this gradient too. I love it. Hopefully you can see this. And, uh, and my uh, little thin part flying on the thick part, uh, and that's kind of giving me an idea what it's gonna look like when I apply it. And I think it's gonna look so amazing. I'm getting a little better at the thick part. Let's see if we can keep it up. Let's increase our draw a little bit. I think I might be getting a little too much twist in this. The good news is I'm using little strips, so um, I can actually take some of this twist out. If you can see here, I can unspin it a little and get rid of some of that extra twist. I think that'll be lovely. I just have to manually spin this on because it's getting stuck in the uh, orifice. Ideas. We're not advancing. I'm getting extra twist because my I'm. I should have put the jumbo flyer on, but it's okay. I was so excited. I just wanted to do it. Uh, <laughs> oh, here's a lock. Stick it out. I like that. Here's another one. It's like Christmas every time I see a cool lock come by. And these locks are nice and soft. I'm not gonna say anymore how I should've got my jumbo flyer. I'm just gonna live with it. This is my last time to say it. <laughs> there we go. We're switching into the blue to yellow, which I love. So I'll have like a little section of optic green as I transition, I hope. Oh yeah, this is gonna be super cool. So in some of her uh, potions, uh, these magic potion uh, bats, they'll come with like feathers or beads. Um, it sounds really super cool. I've never done any bead spinning. I've watched a bunch of videos on it and I thought it looks tedious. <laughs> but you can't deny the uh, spun yarn is beautiful. Uh, I think that I will put it on the list for something to do. I'll probably save it for the winter time whenever I have a little more time on my hands. Uh, just a quick bob and check in. I love this. This is gonna be a great thick and thin. You can uh, see all the little tweety bits and the silk. There's some locks sticking out here and there. Um, I am really excited about this. And uh, I will uh, do the last third to go here, which is the uh, coming into that kind of a cedar coppery color that's gonna be so cool. And I'll show you that once I have it on. Here is the final bobbin check-in. Look at this. 
You see these awesome locks I have sticking out here. There's a little piece of, uh, this might be a little piece of sorry there. No, that's a lock, that's a lock too. I tried to catch them in there. So this is the gold part at the end. I cannot wait, this is so cool. I initially started to do it all like symmetric thick, but then I decided it looked cooler thick and thin. And I'm gonna catch those um, locks and just lock them in whenever I apply with the, this thin uh, single. So I am going to uh, set this off to the side and we'll get started on the thin single. Here we are ready for the single, the thin single. Um, I have done the same things with the other uh, half of the bat or two thirds of the bat. I have divided these uh, up. I'm gonna start spinning from this coppery side. Oh, just look how pretty this is. I love it. I was so happy with this thick and thin. We might have to play around with the tension a little bit because I had it set on a pretty high draw for um, the uh, thick and thin. So let's see what we have here. So for this one, I want to spin this one nice and thin and it's gonna have um, wonderful uh, characteristics here of all the little uh, bits. I'm gonna spin this maybe a teeny bit thicker than my usual thread ply because I want it to, um, I want to be able to use it all and to the maximum advantage here. But it's still going to be thin enough that uh, it's going to ply beautifully. Look at that. Oh, and you can, I, well, I don't know if you can see it, but there's just a little bit of sparkle in here from the Fire Star, or it might be the Sea Cell. I'm not sure which that is, but it is so pretty. And I'm still going to get those little um, uh, Tweety Pops too, just like. Uh, when I did that uh, milk one, the strawberries and cream, that one was super fun too. Um, hopefully my lighting here isn't too shabby either. I'm uh, always a little bit worried about my lighting at night, but I am getting ready to leave uh, to go to the beach for a weekend. And we are getting close on Friday. It will be T minus two weeks until Ireland. I cannot wait. Um, I am so excited. We have been waiting for this trip for three years. We had it rescheduled twice and it's happening. Uh, and I can't wait. I'm taking an entire empty suitcase for fiber. <laughs> I can't wait. And I do want um, the uh, little bits of fuzz and the locks and everything I come to here. Look at that nice tweety bit here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's going to look cool whenever I apply it. I think we are all clear on the fact that I love the Tweety Bits by this point in our relationship. <laughs> I'll do like one strip of this, one strip of the uh, yellow, and then one strip of the blue, and then I'll just keep alternating. That way, if I run out, it's not a big deal. All the colors will be represented through the bat and through the fly. I'm just going to uh, continue on with this uh, gold here, and then what I'll do is I'll just flip the camera back on when I get to the blue, and uh, just so you can get a, a sample of what it looks like, and then uh, we'll do just a very quick little bobbin check and then I'll just finish this single out and uh, then we'll get to the plying which is always the magical part for me. I love the ply. Here we have our thin single bobbin check-in uh, and uh, what I ended up doing was uh, making uh, shorter repeats. I just did a strip, a strip, a strip and I went through twice so hopefully that's going to look pretty cool. I think this is going to be more than enough uh, to ply with. All right, we are going to try my first art yarn ply, my first not thin yarn. And let's see here. So I have it already set to S, so it's gonna ply in the S direction. I have my uh, tension here set pretty low on the scotch tension. We'll see, I might need that up a little more to draw it in, we'll see. And I have my speed dialed low. Let's see what we get here. Well, that might actually be a little too low. Let's add our tension here. Tiny bit of speed. Okay. Let's see what we got. That did not join quite as perfectly as I had liked. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I am holding the uh, thin ply in my right hand 
and my um, thick and thin here in my left and my goal here Did it just get caught on my pants? Nope, okay, we're good. All right, so my goal is, oh, see, I love this, but I want, I need a little faster speed, I think. Yeah, I need a little more draw. Let's see how this does for us. Oh, that's better. So I want to have that angle the same throughout. And when I am uh, letting this wind on, I'm just pinching it and sliding it forward here. That look good. Oh wait, so this is a, a, one of the locks that I want to stick out. So I'm just gonna leave that out like that because I think it looks so cool. Yeah. So that'll look neat when I when I knit it. It's gonna look really cool. And this did end up being more of a thick and thin yarn. Initially, I was trying to make it all thick, but it just didn't turn out that way. Oh, this looks really cool. <laughs> so I want to hold some tension on my uh, right hand uh, yarn here, the one that I'm thread plying with. the little nubs. This is gonna look really neat. Try to zoom in a little bit here. Um, and uh, here I have, I see I have a lock coming up. So I'm gonna try to make that. There we go. Oh, that worked exactly the way I wanted it to. <laughs> so now this is locked in with the ply. So it's not gonna go anywhere when I, when I set it. That looks really cool. And I don't have too much twist in this, which is also what I want. Um, cause I don't want it to be rope. I want it to stay nice and soft so I can, um, wear this around my neck. Oh, this one I didn't leave out. I'm really liking this. I hope I get through at least one repeat. Oh, I got a, I have a lot coming up. Let's make sure that that doesn't get pinched. Okay. There we go. Try to increase my speed just a touch here on the um, the dial. There's another one that I would like to come out. Come on. Hmm. Try this in just a little bit closer so you can see it better. This looks so cool. Oh my gosh, I love this. So this, uh, let me see if we can get in a little bit closer on that. Look at that, oh, I love it. Ooh, I love that bit.
I thought I would do a quick look at the bobbin. This is so cool. You can't see any of the um, locks that I have loose, but here we go. Follow this down and ta-da! Isn't that cool? I love this section. It looks so good. It's so good. All right, I'm gonna keep on going. Um, when I get to the blue part, I really wanna show you because that I think is gonna look really cool plied. Uh, I mean, it all looks really cool, but I will uh, come back around when we switch over to the next color here. We are almost to the end here. Looking good. Oh, this is it. We're at the end. Oh, so sad. No, don't be over. Oh, it's done. All right. Here is the finished uh, yarn on the Nitty Night. Look at how cool this is. It has all these little uh, color pops and locks that are sticking out, and I love it. And it turned out really awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off the Nitty Naughty. Time for my favorite part. Alrighty, here we go. All right, look at this. Oops, oh, it's stuck on my watch. That's not good, okay. <laughs> Oh, I love this. Look at this. And it's got like this progression to it. Uh, I am going to, uh, I think I'm going to steam this. I don't want to risk um, uh, messing any of the uh, lovely uh, lock structure up here. But look at this. I love it. Oh, look how cool it looks too when I twist it. Ah, oh, I love it. All right, let's uh, steam this and then I will show you the finish yarn. Yay! All right. Here you have this awesome, fun, thick and thin with loose locks here, which I have popping out like feathers. They're awesome. Uh, magic potions, although I kind of have a beachy vibe with it. It reminds me of the beach. Maybe it's because I was just at the beach, um, but uh, I spun this before I went to the beach. Maybe I had beach on the mind. <laughs> Um, but uh, oh, I love this. Look at this. This is going to be so cool. Um, so uh, I already think I'm going to uh, knit a Simple Rules cowl with this. I love this spin. You never go wrong with a nice thick and thin with little locks popping out. Some little tweedy bits in there. Pulled silk sari. I love it. I have really uh, grown more and more fond of uh, art yarn over the last couple years. And uh, Kim, uh, her bat was beautiful. Uh, you know, she is really an amazing woman who has uh, overcome incredible uh, tragedy and hardship uh, in her life to thrive uh, and uh, is now uh, her business owner and is uh, starting her Fiber of the Month Club. And uh, if you uh, feel like it, uh, send a little love her way. Uh, I am sure that you will not be disappointed. Uh, I'll post the um, link to her yarn. So now she is spinning my yarn too, which is super cool. Uh, and I did see it. She has been posting little uh, teasers on uh, Instagram. And so I started doing the same here today. But um, it looks amazing. I would have never spun it that way. And it's amazing. So uh, I think you should definitely check it out. Um, and uh, I... We'll see you guys very soon. It is T minus, well, by the time you see this, it'll be T minus six days till Ireland. <laughs> I will see you very soon. The uh, fractal spin is coming up next. Uh, until next time, spin happy.